prior to coming here. I know a little bit about Estonia because uh, one of my friends, he plays in the VTV now, so he was telling me a little bit about it. But I did, uh, <laughs> my parents always do their research on countries before I like uh, make my decision or whatever. So they was kind of telling me about like uh, the Christmas market. I guess the Christmas market is a big thing here and it snows a lot, so looking forward to Do you know any Estonian players? Have you played against any Estonians? Have you had any Estonian mm, not that I can, off the top of my mind. Not no, that you I know of, right, so. yeah. Uh, how did you get started with basketball? How did I get started? Oof. My mom probably put a basketball in my hand when I was super young, you know. Uh, ever since then, I fell in love with it. Started. Do you have any, anyone playing in your family? My mom played when she was in high school, but yeah. she, uh, she didn't play at the collegiate level or anything like that. Uh, my father as well. He actually played in college in a local school around where I'm from, so. Yeah, you're from a small town in Tennessee, right? Yeah. Is basketball big there? Uh, yeah, it's like 50-50. It's like a basketball and a football city. But I mean, basketball is pretty big, I would say. When did you realize you wanted to play professionally? From the first time I ever touched the ball. Nah, probably when I was like uh, sixth grade, seventh grade, somewhere in there. Middle school, somewhere in there. It's quite young still. Yeah. Uh, felt like I was pretty good at it, so why not? Who's your biggest inspiration and why? Basketball or just in life? Basketball and life. Oh, basketball. Uh, biggest inspiration? Probably. I'm a big LeBron guy. I like LeBron. So, I don't know. That's a good question. I never really thought about that basketball wise. But life? Probably my daughter, to be honest. I have a. She's about to be two. She'll be two in October. So, she's like my biggest inspiration right now. Do you have any uh, memorable fan moments? Memorable fan moments? Uh, yeah. In college, we won like our conference championship. So we kind of like, after we won, we just ran out in the crowd. And I can always remember, you know, the things some of them said. It's like, I mean, I don't really want to go into too much detail, but I mean, it was nice okay. things. It wasn't nothing bad, but that's things that always stick with me. Uh, but which country you've played at? Because you've played in several countries in Europe as well. I played in Belgium twice, Hungary, Italy, and now here, Estonia. Yeah, so which, uh, which, uh, which country of the mentioned had like the most memorable fans or what, oh, like the warmest, oh. warmest welcome you've had in Europe? Hmm. Let me, give me a second, let me think, because I don't want to leave a country out. Most memorable? Probably say Belgium. We won the Belgium Cup and made it all the way to the finals. So it was probably Belgium. What do you think is the biggest misconception? But wait, hopefully Estonia. You know? Oh, yeah. Hopefully I have some great fan moments here in Estonia. So. Hopefully. Exactly. Uh, what do you think is the biggest misconception about athletes or basketball players in particular? Mm, biggest misconception? That they probably eat, sleep, and breathe basketball. I think a lot of basketball players have a lot of other talents outside of basketball. You know, it's not always just basketball. So what are your other talents besides basketball? Me? <laughs> I'm currently learning, trying to learn how to play the piano. I, uh, I like to paint a little bit. Me and my daughter actually paint. We painted a lot this summer. When I painted, she was just scribbling and whatever all over the place. But yeah, probably painting. and. Do you play any other musical instruments? I used to play the, I used to try to play the drums when I was younger, but my hand and coordination, you know, I couldn't get it, so. See, you know. I would think you would have pretty good hand coordination. I would have thought so too, player. but. Huh. What's your best basketball memory? Best basketball memory? Uh, since being overseas, probably winning the Belgian Cup so far, you know, and making it to the finals. But like I said earlier, Hopefully, my best memory comes here in Estonia. So, are you good at any other sports? 
I like to say I was good at football. I stopped, well, American football. I stopped playing when I was like, uh, when I got to high school. So maybe I would say that. Uh, how do you handle stressful situations? Fun fact, I don't stress. Never? Never. I don't stress. That is a very good quality to yeah, have. I do not stress. What's your best achievement so far? But I think we already actually yeah. know in life. What's your best achievement in life so far? All right. I don't want to say my daughter because that's such mm -hmm. like a, uh, like a, obviously it's a great achievement, but probably graduating college. It's probably best achievement so far because, you know. What are you most excited about in the upcoming season? Winning and winning a lot. So, yeah. Do you have a very strong, like, winning mentality? Are you the of type course. of person? I feel like nobody, uh, everybody should like to win. You know, I feel like winning is everything at the end of the day. And also meeting all the, the great Estonian fans and meeting the people around in the organization and stuff. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, What's your all-time fantasy starting five? All-time fantasy starting five. All right, can I do like a current players and then like a, oh, you said all-time, so never mind. All-time, but I mean, okay. if you want to, okay, we can do current players and then All right. past. All right, so current, I'm gonna go. Hmm. Steph Curry, I think he's the greatest point guy ever. Uh, Steph, I want to say Michael Jordan. So we're but, doing all time now. Oh, wait, you did <laughs> say, I'm, my bad. All right, so <laughs> Steph, I'm going to say all time starting five. This is like pos position this basketball. So Steph, LeBron, KD, Giannis, and Steph, LeBron, KD, Giannis. Oh. Jokic, Jokic, for yeah. sure, Jokic. All time though, probably Steph still, uh, Michael, LeBron. Can I pick like two people for like the, I can't, dang. Uh, Tim Duncan and Shaq. Yeah, Steph. Steph, Michael. Yeah, yeah. That's the same from yeah. Manny. Manny also put Michael and Shaq in, but he put, I think he put Allen Iverson, PG. I love AI too. He put Kobe. I love Kobe. And he put Pippen in four. He put Pippen? Mm. Wow. No LeBron? Wow. Yeah. That's yeah, okay. Last question. I don't even know why I'm asking that, but who will win the World Cup? USA. USA. No, I think uh, I think it'd be a good, yeah, in USA. Maybe Canada. I like Canada a lot, but I, who's course. your favorite player for Canada? Yeah, Shay, Gilgis Alexander. I like his game a lot. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It was a pleasure.